Disclaimer. The following video is part of a playthrough that contains these heavy topics. Viewing it is at your own risk. And with this, your discretion is advised. Have I been doing? Did I really think I could have become someone of all just because I knew about Mana's identity? Why am I like this? Oh, you're not the only one who thinks of that. You are basically most of the people. Yes. Hmm. What do I gain? But not think. Huh. I, sh I shouldn't stop. Thing. I shouldn't change the way that I that I treat the, that person. Now that I know that they are actually that person. But oh, please, let me just do this. Let me be here for you. The warmth of my sister's embrace overwhelms me with emotions. Okay, Brian, stop it. There are siblings. <laughs> Just stop it, what you think right now? I think I should head back. I've got a lot of thinking to do. And I'm worried about Makoto. Hm. Go get him, champ. I'll be around for a few more days for work. If the opportunity presents itself, make sure to introduce me to her. Let me know how everything goes. And please, don't hesitate to lay on me again. Thanks. And make sure to give her a hug. I'm sure she don't need it. She needs it. Well, definitely. I'll try to remember that. I'll try to remember. After paying for the food, Yokone gave me a long embrace after before leaving for the hotel that she was staying at. I take a deep breath and then head back to my own apartment. Makoto, connect. So, this entire time I've been talking to Makoto. I've been unknowingly pushing my identity of Mana without knowing it was hurting her. She said she doesn't blame people for doing that. Of course, people are going to think of Mana as someone who's strong, happy and beautiful. Let's say I identity that she was striving for and showing one stream. But the problem is that Makoto believes that just the side of that she shows on stream but she isn't like that in person. Honestly, she's amazing, even as Makoto. To be able to do the things she does requires her to be a strong person. What is her perception of being strong even? Nobody is flawless. Isn't even right for me to say that she's being too hard on herself. I've only scratched the surface of what she's thinking. I don't think I have to completely understand her. To know that she shouldn't blame herself for all for a lot of how she feel of how she feels like you can say it it's inedible that she'll hurt people but i don't believe she's hurt people as much as she thinks she has well i can't say anything specific about her past experiences but at least with me she shouldn't be torn up about what she saw and said or about involving me what do you, can I even do about the problems she faces? I have no, I have no experiences with that. No, that's the wrong way to think. Mm -hmm. Yes, this is definitely not the wrong way. This is definitely the wrong way to think. I shouldn't just think of her as someone that I need to save. My brain just suddenly went back to DLC. <clears throat> I want to help and be there for her, but I can't just be someone who swoops in and say solves all her problems. Ah, there's too much to think about. Let's start with the big picture. What am I seeking? I want to continue being involved with Makoto. I still want her in my life. I don't know if the reverse is the same. Also, another thing I just want to point out, I have no idea if there are multiple endings to this game. I mean, there's no choices, so... Hmm. But I guess I have to hear it from her as I say what I need to say. But I want... But I don't want a relationship where we have to keep skirting around each other about burdening the other. I want both of us to be able to rely on each other. Even if we still feel bad about burdening the other, I want us to be able to do it, which isn't going to be a sudden change. Both of us don't feel too good about burdening others. 
I know there's a lot that I still don't know about Makoto. And I know I have yet to understand her. But I want to understand her. I know it's conceited. But I want to be involved with her even if it means that she'll have to burn me. When I don't even fully understand her. I know we'll struggle. I know we'll misunderstand each other. I know we'll probably always be looking for the right answers. But I want to be involved anyway. Gosh, I actually it actually sounds so conceited when I expressed it like this. Is it really okay to have a selfish wish like this? Kine would be smacking me if she knew that I was thinking like this. Before I make that kind of selfish request, I think I need to come to terms with my own feelings first. Even now I'm still head over heels for my control. In a way of being as mana. And I feel guilty about those feelings. Not because of Makoto as a person, but because they are for the wrong reason. Mmm, oh, somebody figured out how, what he actually feels and that it's actually not the right thing to, to feel. Those things came about when I figured out Makoto was mana. All it took was to have the thought of, I have a chance, with someone who I see as a valuable, valuable to instantly start becoming infatuated. What is this word? Honestly, it could probably happen to any big VTuber. I don't usually have strong feelings towards most people. I watch, but it's always a thought in the back of my mind that it's nice if I could be involved with this person. It's a chance to become someone special to them suddenly it appeared. And I think I would end up becoming obsessed just because I want to get the validation from that. Mm hmm. It really is an unhealthy mindset. Yes. And it happened so easily. Yes. So the infatuation didn't come about because of love, but because of my own desire for validation. That shouldn't be how a relationship develops. Mm hmm. But I can't say for sure that a part of my feelings wasn't already from what I felt about Makoto before finding out. Mm -hmm. It wasn't an obsession, but it was a warm comfort. I liked being with her. I wanted to know more about her. My things are just jumbled, a jumbled mess right now, so I can't say exactly how I feel. And I can't stop myself from feeling this way, either. Even if I know that it's for the wrong reason, this heartache doesn't go away. And feeling this way just makes me guiltier. That I shouldn't feel this way, but I do. Maybe that's the curse I'll have to live with for the time being. For being so self-centered. Isn't it the reason I should be distancing myself from her? That I'm only going to naturally gravitate towards her. And try to gain her favor because I'm always going to want her attention. Do I have any right to try and reach out when I know that this relationship will partially be built on my own insecurities? Even before I found out that she's mana, didn't I just interact with her mainly because I was lonely? Hey, up, 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 stop, stop, stop. Really? <sighs> Is this video okay? I was transparent about everything and she was okay with it. Will that make it okay? Isn't it just pushing my own expectations and selfish wishes onto her? Is it even possible for me to form a relationship with her without these selfish motives? Isn't it what I was trying to avoid when I entered college? Was I a hypocrite all along? No, I shouldn't think like that. I have to accept that it's inevitable that I'll have those thoughts and feelings if I interact with her. The best I can do is be aware of this in the inevitability and try to not let it control my actions. I think I have to figure it out some more as time passes. 
Next is Makoto and what she thinks. How can I even help with her depression mindset? I haven't even gotten the hour of my own self hate. I can't just tell her to love herself more. No matter what I tell her, she isn't going just going to suddenly shift her mindset. <coughs> All I can do is tell her the value she has to me. I try to support her. Again, I'm just feeling self important by thinking that. And even if I might not offer much, I still want to do what I can. This is all assuming, of course, that she would even want to continue involving me with her life. I don't blame her if that isn't the case. We can't go back to how we were before. I have no idea what our relationship is going to be like. We start interacting, if interacting again. I take a deep breath, followed by letting out a big sigh. I don't have all the answers, but I think I know what to do now. I pull up my phone to look at the time. It's almost midnight. I'm worried about Makoto and I shouldn't put this off. Is she still awake? I pull up my phone and stare at Makoto's contact. Is it too soon? The longer I wait, the less of a chance there is. I can feel my hands shaking. I take a deep breath and force myself to press the call button. Every consecutive ring goes on for what feels like an eternity. The pressure I feel at this moment is enough to impede my breathing. Just when I feel that I would reach her voicemail, I heard the brief cut the ringing to indicate that the call has been picked up. I can't hear her. Makoto? Why? My voice is weak. I could fade away at any moment. Can we meet? I know it's late and I know you said we wouldn't be involved with each other anymore. But there are some things I have to say. If after you hear me out and still want to cut ties, then I'm fine with that. I know it's a selfish request. But P, but please. Not only sounds, my heart is beating so fast. I'm sure Makoto can hear it through the phone. Come to the beach. Oh, okay. Thanks. I heard the call hang up right after I thank her. I immediately collapse on my bed in a sigh of relief. After taking another deep breath, dash to my bathroom to splash some water on my face and then head out of my apartment. Love Connect. I find myself back at the same spot where I had been all the other today. It hasn't been a day, but it feels like it's been weeks since I had last met with Makoto here. I look around to see any signs of her. It's dark, but I still am still able to see that Makoto isn't here yet. I raise my head to look up at the starry sky. Well, it's too late now to be thinking if it's okay. If this is okay. I'm also not confident at all in my ability to get my thoughts across. If it doesn't end up working out, then I guess that's just how it has to be. No, I shouldn't keep thinking negatively. I can't draw any conclusions without seeing what she thinks. The sky really is beautiful tonight, isn't it? I wonder if this is why Makoto chose her VTuber theme to be a starry sky. She did seem to like this spot. Maybe she saw this the same sky and decided to become Mano. Or maybe I'm just being romantic because of this side. The sounds of footsteps interrupt my thoughts. I turn around to see Makoto walking towards me. She looks even worse than before. Yep. This also looks like... First off... Hmm, the height difference is not that much. First off, second off, you look like a loot. Which is fine. Hey. Thanks for granting this selfish request of mine. Honestly, you can't say that what I'm going to say is going to come out coherent or make any sense. <sighs> oh boy, here we go. You know, I only really wish I was the protagonist of some anime or the 
<laughs> What's a dating simulator? Hmm. Like. Like. Feature a connect, baby. <clears throat> Back to serious mode. Like the ones that know exactly what to say to magically fix everything and change anyone's viewpoint. Stop! 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 Break it! Stop! 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 But I'm only me. I don't have very many answers for you. I can't magically solve your problems. I'm not going to pretend like I can say anything that will convince you to suddenly be happy with yourself and your situation. I can't even begin to imagine what you're going through or have been through in your life. Even if I spend the rest of my life trying, I might not fully understand. But I want to try, despite the in an inedible struggle. I know that sounds conceited, but I want to try. I want to try. Why even try to understand someone like me? Is it because I'm mana? I would be lying if I said that wasn't a part of it. To be honest, I fell into a complete obsession with you after finding out. It was because of my own desire for validation and self-worth. I actually completely hate myself for the fact that it happened. You might be disgusted at what I did, and I wouldn't blame you. I wouldn't blame you if you started thinking that I'm only interacting with you because you're this super popular VTuber. But it's just me. A desire for self-worth is just a part of who I am, and I absolutely detest that part of myself. I would want to be able to say that I want to be with you for you, and not to feel like I'm worth something, just because I'm with someone who's valued. But looking at myself, I can say that, and I know that asking you to accept that might be the most selfish request ever. All I can really say is, I want to keep being with you. I don't want to just be with Mana or Makoto. I want to be with you, who's both Mana and Makoto. What are you even saying? I already said that I only interacted with you for my own personal gain. It could be very well be the case, but I think that's okay. It's not like I had great intentions either. I think one of my main reasons I kept interacting with you is because I was lonely. I desperately wanted someone that I could feel like I could connect with. Ah, there, he said, did he said, he said, he said it. Definitely, don't I know it has, it has it connected many times. <clears throat> I really did enjoy the time with you, and I admire you. But how much of those feelings can I say are just out of desperation? I know that doesn't sound reassuring, but I don't know myself well enough to fully understand these feelings. I can, only, I can really only say that, despite all this uncertainty, I still want to be with you. I've already seen what kind of person I am. All I do is hurt people, who just end up being hurt. How are you even going to put up with someone like me? I think that goes both ways. There's no way that we won't end up hurting each other at times, even if we don't I mean it. It'll probably be painful at times. But I still want us to be involved with each other anyway. I don't even know if this will be the case. But I want to believe that the happy times we create will make it all worth it. I don't want to be hurt. And even worse, I don't want to hurt you. But I also feel joy and warmth from being with you. I want a relationship where we can accept that we'll get hurt. Where we will struggle, feel lost. I like they always be looking for the right answers. But I want us to be able to do that together. In a relationship we bear burdened where we burden each other. We probably won't feel good about the hair word hey. We probably won't feel good about burning the other. But I will still want us to be able to do that anyway. But what what are you even saying? That won't be even an even relationship. I'll just be the one burning you the entire time. I'm a thorough, thoroughly messed up person. 
I'm weak, I hate myself, I'm mean, I easily lash out, I always think about things negatively, I always feel lonely, I'm never satisfied with how I am. And you said so, so yourself, that there's so much that you don't understand. How does it make any sense to want to be with someone that you don't even understand? Are you stupid? Are you an idiot? Baka, ne? Honto ni baka. So baka, ne? Okay. I don't mean, please put, put uh, any Google translator or Walking Deep L, probably, translator, and just have a good, uh, work, good translation there. Baka ja nai no. Thank you. I guess I am. I truly believe from the bottom of my heart that you're a, a wonderful person in many ways. And I'm pretty messed up. And I'm a pretty messed up person myself. You're really not. How can you blame yourself for what you felt? You can help it. Meanwhile, look at me. I only have myself to blame. That isn't true. We can probably go back and forth all night at this rate. Take my throat and take a deep breath. Though I may not offer much, an unreliable, selfish person I may be, please allow me to be involved with your life. How do I know that you won't just leave me once you get over your infatuation and realize what kind of person I am? I mean, look at me. Just the fact that I'm saying that is so terrible. No, that's okay. The only thing I can really do to alleviate the doubt is tell you that I want to be involved with you, including all the good and bad. I want to be able to guarantee that I won't just change my mind because of this infatuation. But the truth is that I don't fully understand myself. I can really only ask you to trust me. What kind of relationship is that? You're just okay with me doubting you? I'm sure you have your own to help about me. You're just okay with us doubting each other? Yes. What? Just... Are you okay with... With... With questioning each other the whole time? Joma? Yes. Hmm. I have a meme in my head. I need to write this down. I will, I will, I will come to say <laughs> I don't think we can really avoid that doubt. The only way would be to be able to come to a full understanding of each other. Which I don't think is possible. But I want us to be involved anyway. My weak, ugly and broken person. You're okay with that? Yes. You're going to end up getting hurt by being involved with me. You're okay with this? But yes. You're going to end up being burdened before my baggage. You're going to end up being a, being burdened like hell. You're okay with that? Yes. And you're willing to do all that despite knowing that you don't fully understand me? <sighs> yes. Makoto stares at me for a few seconds, then she starts walking towards me. She stops once she's right, once she's right in front of me, looking directly into my eyes. My social anxiety is telling me to look away, but another part of me is telling me that if I look away now, my resolve would have been for nothing. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Would you be willing to accept me even after knowing everything about me? Please hug? This would be a good time for a hug now. There's a firm determination in Makoto's eyes I haven't seen before. He knows that she's asking an unreasonable, selfish question. But I can tell how more important this question is to her. Yes. Makoto's expression comes and she stares at me for a few seconds. Then I see her break a smile. You really are an idiot, aren't you? You are right, none. You are right. None of what you 
Just say it makes any sense. Do you just secretly want to get her? Are you a masochist? Cue the clip! I take back what I thought about being understood. You might as well be kicking me down and stomping on me. <coughs> Mommy, what? Hey, some people are into that. <laughs> A sense of relief washes over me to see a glimpse of Makoto's old self return. I guess I am. That's what you'll be signing up for. Well, there are a lot worse things you could be. You could be a guy who just voluntarily signed up to be involved with me. Boy, do I have news for you. You both managed to love, obey weekly. Well, past me at this point. The events of today likely have Makoto just as tired as I am. Also, <laughs> just look at this. Just look at this smile. Just, just, just look at this smile. That's a, that's a cute smile. <clears throat> Makoto Pesco. I guess I have no choice but to accept your request. Can you put it that way? But before I feel like we can move forward, I need you to listen to my own selfish request. Hug, can you come over to my place tomorrow and listen to what I have to say? Oh, <laughs> I'll tell you. My mind is leading up to becoming a VTuber and all my experiences as Mana, up until now. You said you would be willing to accept me even after knowing everything about me. So that's exactly what I'm going to do. I'm going to tell you everything. You're actually going to tell me everything? Please, tell me. Thanks. It's probably going to take a while, and it's not exactly a pleasant topic. But I've decided to trust you. And I feel like I can move forward with involving you without you knowing. I understand. Thanks for putting your trust in me. Huh. i message you tomorrow to come over once I'm ready. <sighs> with that, I'm going to head back now. I'm absolutely exhausted. More so than I usually am. Uh, let me walk you home. It's pretty late. Oh, being a gentleman, Audrey. It's not that far. I'll be fine. I got here just fine, didn't I? I didn't take that into account when I asked her to walk here. I really want to be pushy about it if she doesn't want to. But it also doesn't really feel right to just leave her to walk home by herself. Makoto watches as I quietly contemplate to myself. You know what? I'll take you up on your offer. Shoot, I must have been showing how conflicted I was. But I guess I will. It works out. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> Shouldn't I be the one thanking you? Or maybe you just want to walk with me because you're scared? Sure, let's go with that. Protect me, please. Oh, great, Makoto. You can call me Makoto. <laughs> I'm sorry. Um... Sure, let's go with that. Protect me, please. Oh, great. Kakurasaka. Uh, I come and show us all, Makoto. <laughs> like I have to be doing this the last three streams. Yep, yep, yep. An awkward silence envelops, envelops the air. Okay, enough of that. Let's go. Makoto quickly starts walking away in embarrassment, leaving me to catch up to her. Oh, wait! I think Shimabu should be also frustrated, but... <laughs> Heart connect. I follow behind Makoto as she quietly walks through the aim dimly lit streets. The air is tranquil, with our footsteps being the only sounds that can be heard in the stillness of the night. And how I like a little break here, so... See you in a few minutes, and then we see what happens to those two. <laughs> Lovely doublies. <laughs> okay, jokes aside. They, they, they really fit. I don't, I don't, okay, I press the, the BRP button. 